Song of Solomon 5 and 2 says, I sleep, but my heart waketh. I sleep, but my heart waketh. David said, my body sleeps, but my spirit's still awake. Your spirit don't never sleep. That's why you can dream. The only place your spirit can get rest is in the presence of God. For my presence will go with you and you'll have rest, Exodus 33, 14. There's only a spiritual rest in the presence of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus is not the Lord of your life. He's who you're missing. You won't find the peace that you're looking for nowhere else. As 1 Peter 2.14 says, He is our peace. Colossians 1.20 said, Having made peace by the blood of His cross. Peace of God only comes when you make peace with God. And the only way you make peace with God is through Jesus his only begotten son and his sacrifice on that Roman rugged cruel cross. That's the only peace sign there is. It's that cross. It ain't that upside down cross with broken arms that everybody calls a peace sign, which did not, who does not have its origin from the 60s. It goes way back further than that. It was the cross of Nero. It was the cross that evil emperor Nero used because he hated Christians and he wanted to kill them. And he did many of them. That's what it was used for. That ain't the peace sign. That is the cross. Jesus' cross. There's peace not as the world gives, but as he gives when you come to him. I'm telling you, there's a stress relief that comes when you just know your name's written in his Lamb's book of life. And if you died today, praise God, no sweat on your part. When you no longer fear death, because you know that you know that you know with blessed assurance, praise God that heaven is yours because of your faith in what he did on the cross. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, it's nothing like laying your head down at night knowing that everything's right between you and God. Hallelujah. Jesus, mighty name. And if you'll confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart, God raised him from the dead, you'll be saved. Romans 10, 9. Hallelujah. If you're under the sound of our voice watching, However you're hearing this, praise God. Call on him now. Today is the day of salvation, 2 Corinthians 6 and verses 2. Wherefore today, if you'll hear the voice of the Holy Ghost, Hebrews 3, 7. Thank you, Holy Ghost. God, draw them. Come on, saints, pray with me just for a few moments, and I'm going to step out of the way. Lord, touch them. Touch those that are under the sound of our voice, whether they're in this room or, God, whether they watch in the future or listen in the future on the audio or video. Lord, God, in Jesus' name, I pray people, God, come to you. Come to faith in you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. For the kingdom of God is not in meat and drink, but in righteousness, joy, and peace in the Holy Ghost. Romans 14, 17. Lord, there's a joy. There's a peace that only comes in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And when people come to you, Lord God, and step into your spirit and you come into them, Lord, there's a joy that this world can't give. There's a peace, Lord God, that nobody can find anywhere in this life. Hallelujah. Other than that, your foot, the foot of your cross. Hallelujah. At your bloody feet. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God, I pray you draw them. Draw them now. Draw them now, I pray, God. God, quicken them to come to you now. Hallelujah. Not to boast their self in tomorrow because they don't know what a day's going to bring. Proverbs 27 and 1. We're not promised our next breath, much less our next day. So, God, I pray you draw them. Draw them now. If you're under the sound of our voice, you better come if you're in this room. Come to him now. Come. That's what I've been preaching about all day, all morning is coming to him, coming to him, coming to him. John 6 and 37, he said, I'll in no wise cast you away or turn you away, turn you down if you'll come come to me. I promise you one thing from his word. He and he makes the promise himself. If you'll come to me, I will not turn my back to you. I will not turn away from you. I will not turn
turn you down. I will not send you away. I won't tell you come back. It's, I'm too busy right now. If you come to him, you'll find him. I'm telling you, if you'll come, you'll find him. You'll find that he still saves. He still forgives. He has mercy. You'll find he's still a miracle worker. You'll find him as the one who honors his word to those that will obey it by faith. Come on. Hallelujah. Come to him while you can. Come to him. Come to him. Tonight may be too late. Tomorrow, you may have waited too long if you wait then. Hallelujah. This life, hallelujah, is very, very shallow. It is very, very short. Hallelujah. Don't thank you, God, a bunch of time, a lot of time. All you got is now. All you got is now. And if you'll come to him now, if you'll turn your now over to him, he'll turn it around, and it'll spell W-O-N. He'll, you'll be that one that wins. Praise God over everything the enemy has brought in your life. You got to come now. Now's the time. Now's the time. Now's the time. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus' mighty name. Let every head be bowed just for a few moments. Just for a few moments. Not even a minute. Just a moment. A few more moments. Holy Ghost, I thank you. You said a wise man wins souls, Proverbs 11 and 30. So, Lord, a foolish man will lose them. So I'm not going to be foolish. I'm not going to be frustrated about time or what somebody may think. Holy Ghost, I want to use wisdom because this is the most important. Next 30 seconds, right here it is. If you're on the sound of my voice and you say, Preacher, I know if I died right now or if Jesus came back, I'd be left behind. Or if I died now, I know I wouldn't go to heaven. Uh, my heart's about to beat out my chest right now. I feel convicted about my sin, my lifestyle. I just know I'm not right with God. And I know it's him talking to me right now through you. But now's the time. I know I need to do something. Hallelujah. With this Jesus you're talking about. And I'd like to. But I'm just struggling right here to just let go. When I count to three while every head's bowed, I want you to raise your hand if that's you. One, two, three. God seen that hand. Anybody else? Lord sees that hand. Thank you, Jesus. Anybody else want to raise their hand? He sure was willing to raise his for you. Thank you, Jesus. God sees that hand. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Now, Lord, you saw those hands that were just raised, and you see that life. You know them. You know them better than they know themselves. Holy Ghost, I pray right now, everything the devil is doing in their life to keep them from coming to you, I bind it. I rebuke it in Jesus' mighty name. Jesus, you told me yesterday on that boat, those that really want you, they want nothing. That means even the devil himself. Keep you from getting to them. In Jesus, I don't believe you that far away. You're just one prayer away in Jesus' mighty name. Now, I'm going to ask this. If you just raised your hand and you say, Preacher, I want to call on him. I, I, I want to go a step further. I actually want to ask Jesus to come into my life. I want him to forgive me my sins. I believe he was raised from the dead after he was crucified, and I, I really want to give my life to him. And you may not have raised your hand this first time, but if you didn't, you can raise it on this second time. But if you did raise it the first time, I want you to raise your hand again if you want to ask him. Come on. God sees that hand. Amen. Anybody else? Hallelujah, God. I see those hands. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. While every head's bowed, say, Lord Jesus, everybody with me. Lord Jesus, I believe you're the Son of God. I believe you were crucified on that cross for my sins. I confess I believe that you were born of a virgin. And I believe you were raised from the dead three days after they crucified you. And Lord Jesus... I give you my life. I turn from my sins. And Lord, I commit my life all to you. I believe on you today. In yours, in Jesus' name. Forgive me, Jesus. I'm yours. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Praise God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And here's what I want you to do. It's very important. If you just prayed that after you raised your hand, Glory to God. You can still come to the altar if you want. Amen. But I didn't get saved at an altar. And sometimes we think people only can get saved at an altar. Right? I got saved. I didn't even get saved in church. Matter of fact, church I went to, Jesus couldn't even get in there, much less me trying to get saved there. Amen. That's how bad it was. Praise God. Amen. But you need to tell somebody. If you raised your hand today and asked Jesus to come into your life and you asked for forgiveness, guess what? He forgave you, and you need to tell somebody. All, all I want you to do is just say, hey, I'm forgiven. Amen. Matter of fact, let's all do it right now, and that'll help those that just prayed to say it to somebody. Look at them and say, I'm forgiven in Jesus' name. Amen. You really are. Your sins and iniquities, he don't remember no more. Hebrews 10, 17, the devil will. He's accuser of the brethren, Revelation 20, verse 2. Amen. And Sister Sandpaper and Brother Bucket Mouse, they'll remember too, and they'll tell you about it. But he says, I don't remember it no more. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Ma'am, he's got it. 
It's got, he's got it. That ain't gonna, you ain't going to have to deal with that no more. It's gone. In Jesus' mighty name. Come on, Pastor. Praise God. Hallelujah. I better be careful. I'll be stepping into the, to tonight's anointing. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Tonight, we will be praying for the sick. We will be ministering to the sick and the infirmed and the afflicted by the word of the Lord. Amen. So I encourage you to come. Amen. If you can. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Those of you that have the discipleship training class, uh, no need to go and eat. We'll just stay right here. Don't. We're moving. That's, you know, that we had to start. That's next Sunday. Amen. Aren't you thankful for the Word of God? Will you put your hands together? Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, Brother Raymond's fist and dismiss, and I'm going to stand at the back door. That means you can't use the side door. You've got to go through this door because you've got to shake my hand and hug my neck. Maybe both. Amen. Praise the Lord. I love you. Come expecting. I want you to do something. Call someone that has been drifted away from the Lord, and you bring them to this house. If you know someone that is struggling in their body, you need to make sure you give them a call and you tell them you need to be in the house of God tonight for a miracle service just don't bring them bring them in agreement amen get in an agreement when you walk through those doors tonight you are ready for a miracle to take place do you believe it you hear us preach about it all the times the signs and wonders we we I'm man I feel like I could preach right now just a little bit I'm going to give this microphone to Brother Raymond. <laughs> hey, I, f I felt a little stir right there hit me. So, amen. I love y'all. Amen. Thank you for your prayers. Y'all enjoyed the word this morning? Hey, that's good to be in the house of God. If y'all would stand with me, I'm not going to preach. But we're just going to pray. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> so, anyway. But, yes, as we've been praying all week for miracle service, we're looking for a mighty move of God tonight through, you know. The Bible says that if you ask, you shall receive. And it says, uh, it goes on to tell us that if we need something, to come forth before the church and have the elders lay hands on us. So we're looking for the elders in the church to be here tonight. You know, we're looking for them to lay hands upon. We're looking on the Holy Spirit that's going to be here tonight as Brother Marvin brings forth the word again tonight to minister to those that need a, a healing in the body, and spiritually as well as physically. So if you would, just uh, pray with us and, you know, pray for tonight's service. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you for this day, God. We thank you for the mighty word of God that was brought forth, God. And, Lord, we just look forward to being in your house tonight, dear Heavenly Father. God, we thank you for those that acknowledge you as their Savior today, dear Heavenly Father, God, as your Redeemer, dear Heavenly Father, God. And, God, we just give you the praise, the glory, and honor for it, Father, God, that the God that was here and saved people in the past, God, and healed people in the past is the same God that's going to be here tonight, dear Heavenly Father, God, and heal them, dear Heavenly Father, God. Lord, because what happened years ago in revivals, Father, God, that we witnessed with the laying on the hands and seeing those that sick raised up, dear Heavenly Father, God, is the same thing that we'll witness in your house tonight, God, because we're coming as a body of believers, God. We're coming, as Brother Marvin spoke, in one mind and one accord, seeking your face, seeking the healing, God. And God, I give you the praise, the glory, and honor for it. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen.